fender's hood, stuff like that for this car a couple days ago. And now we're getting ready to spray the outside of the body. Here's some of those parts from the first batch of Chevelle stuff we painted this week. Uh, these are basically what we're going to do is we let our stuff sit and dry naturally for a week or so. And then we'll use an infrared light and we'll bake this this paint so that it's very hard and very dry when we start sanding it to buff. So when I wipe this, I'm going to start with a water base cleaner uh, using these Satara wipes. I really like these wipes. They don't leave much lint. They're probably the most lint-free wipe. SADA 3000. This is going to usually use for sealer and most bases. Uh, SADA 3000 uh, fisheye filter. Uh, got to have one on there. I we've got an air dryer off the compressor. Then we've got into the booth. We've got another air dryer and two three-stage filters. Uh, one sharp system, one tsunami system. Uh, I still really like this fisheye filter. It flows way more than a normal bulb filter. Uh, and it's got replaceable cartridges and if you do get contaminants in it, it will stop blowing air It won't shoot it up in your gun and in your paint job So now I'm in ready to spray sealer. I'm gonna attack this whole car. I'm gonna attack the plastic I'm gonna attack everything and I had a couple guys ask me uh, What tack rags I like? I like the Bristol tack rags. They are uh, I like these better than the older Never had. 
going to get ready to go in there and clear the Chevelle. Um, I'm using the Global D8152 clear uh, with the 8371 activator with 885 reducer. Uh, it's kind of a concoction that most people maybe wouldn't use. I've tried the 8372. It's a really slow reducer, and and it's it's too slow. It's 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 uh, you're way more apt to have runs with that activator. And uh, if you use 895 reducer, you're more apt to have runs. You might use that on a really super hot day, uh, but right now being you know 75, 80 degrees, I use the 8371 with the 885. And then I also am reducing my clear. Uh, I'll I'll do the proper mix on the scale, and then I'll over reduce this clear about 10%, and it just makes it a little thinner makes it lay out spray out a little better lay out a little better stays wetter a little bit longer to lay out um, that's what I found works the best with this clear and I'm using a Tecna uh, with a 1-2 tip which really breaks this clear up nice lays it out real nice So why we're doing that is because we're going to block this car uh, with polycarbonate blocks, wet sanding, uh, to try to get it super, super flat. So we want a lot of product to, to be able to sand on, but also have proper mill thickness when we're finished buffing. When I do a car like this, when we're doing four coats wet on wet, uh, I'll do a coat, I'll let it sit for uh, 10 to 15 minutes flash between first and second coat and then between second and third coat I'll give it about uh, 20 minutes or so and then between third and fourth coat I'll give it anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes depending on conditions um, but anytime you're stacking clear and stacking clear like that you need to give each coat you need to give more flash time 